Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll draw this sum. We have to copy it to same. So first we'll draw this line 100 mm long because there are two circles at a distance of 100. Let's take this point as A and from A to B is how much it is? 100. So I'll go down by 100 and I'll mark point B. Then what I have to do from point A, I, I need to draw radius 35 and radius 10 there are two circles so first I will draw radius 35 then radius 10 then radius 25 So this is how you will get three circles. Now we need to draw radius 30, which is external arc. I will draw axis line first. Now we need to draw radius 30. So if you see this radius 30 is external arc. See it is like this. So this is point C, this is point A, this is point B. So distance from A to C would be how much? A to C would be 35 plus 30. See this. And distance from B to C would be how much? It would be 25. Diameter is 50. So 25 plus radius is 30. So we'll cut from AC we'll cut 65 and from BC we will cut 55. See from A I will cut 65 and from B I will cut 55. Wherever it will cut from that point I can draw line passing through A, I can draw line CA and CB and I can draw arc or I can draw radius 30 directly, whatever you feel comfortable. Remember joining this CA and BC is not compulsory but it is only to get that those two important points from where you will be able to see arc clearly. Otherwise it will merge with the circle so it's called connecting point now I want to draw this radius 100 so this is bigger radius 100 and 35 and 25 are small radius so it will look like this so let's take this radius as 10 this is 5 and this is 20 so this is A this is B and this is D so distance from A to D would be how much 20 minus 10 so when it is internal we have to minus now this is a distance from B to D would be how much 20 minus 5. Now same thing we will do it for our diagram. We have radius 100 and we have radius 35 and 25. So A to E let's say in our case 100 is the bigger radius or I will write I'm doing in this only A to D this radius is 35 this is 100 and this is 25 so A to D would be how much 100 minus 35 that is 65 and B to D would be how much 100 minus 25 
that is 75. So I will cut 65 and 75 from A and B respectively. See from A I will cut 65. And from B I will cut 75. Wherever it will cut, that will be point D. Now again in this also you can join D to A and extend the line. So you'll get the exact point from where your arc is going to start. And D to B and extend the line. This is optional. You can take directly from D 100 and you can draw an arc. See we got required circle, required arc. So I hope everyone understood how to draw external as well as internal arc. Thank you.